Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Horoscope for Thursday, July 17th, 2014. I am Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, I'll be out in Sedona for the next week, so just put it out there. We are doing a live presentation of the event on Saturday night. I'm doing my live spiritual house sessions with everybody that's hanging out at the party. The links will be posted on my Facebook, so make sure you check out my Facebook throughout the week because I'll be putting up awesome pictures and we'll be doing a live part where you can participate, be part of the chat, and listen to the music and be part of it all live. So I just wanna put that out there. If you're not at my retreat, don't worry, we have an access for you. So let's talk about Thursday. I'm sure you might be starting to feel in Jupiter's coming to Leo. Well, maybe not quite yet. Jupiter has now entered Leo, and this is a sign of the heart. This is the sign of the lion. It's a sign of your own independent happiness. What makes you happy? Yourself. Your own love for yourself. Now, this energy is going to start to take place and start to unveil in yourself whether or not you're on a true awakening of your real happiness, and if you do really love yourself. That's what Leo is. The frustrating people who don't love themselves are gonna say, I don't feel Jupiter and Leo. Well, yeah, 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 it's gonna test whether or not you truly love yourself, how bright you are, how bright you're willing to shine. Now today, the moon is gonna be in Aries, which is gonna finally light up this Jupiter and Leo today. Jupiter came in yesterday while we had all this water. We had the moon in Pisces, it's like swimming like fish, and oh, Jupiter's in Leo! It's like a bunch of fish looking up at the sun in the morning, but still underwater. Today, we rise into the fire, we look for that independent self, it goes very well with this Jupiter and Leo energy, and I think today's a really positive day. Things are definitely moving. When you have a moon in Aries like this, there's definitely a lot of things moving, going forward with, and there's a lot of fire and strength. The sun is squaring Mars now, and this is gonna be a transit that happens for the next week and a half. There is tension between Mars and the sun. The awareness we have in our life right now is in Cancer. We're finishing up the sun in Cancer. There's still emotions on the table. There's still a lot of comfort zones, and it's squaring Mars in Libra. This is this energy of weighing out things, and this is pressure to take action in our life, and you're gonna feel the tension as maybe it's hard to get up, maybe it's hard to make things going. The moon in Aries gets it going today for you, even when you thought it wasn't possible. Oh my gosh, I have the energy, and I'm able to go somewhere. But we are gonna be in this sun square Mars for weeks, and this is gonna be tension around actions to take, things to move forward in, and there's a big bang that's on the horizon here because this is also the last day of Venus in Gemini, and I think that there's been a lot of things that you've come to an understanding with, with especially relationships. Like, I like, they like this relationship, I tried this one, I tried that one, ah, that one didn't work, this one worked, this one doesn't, ah, nah, nah, nah. You know, Gemini is like test driving a bunch of cars. <laughs> you know, because it's like the stimulation of needing to test drive this and do that and check this and taste that and smell that and play with that. But now, starting tomorrow, Venus will come into Cancer and we'll talk that. I'll talk about that on the weekend horoscope. So this is the last day where there's still a lot of stimulation, a lot of, a lot of pondering, a lot of questions still that I think we're finishing up and wrapping up in relationships, projects, and so forth. We might have gotten a lot of answers and facts and information yesterday as the moon did square Venus in Pisces. Maybe you uncovered something too about a certain relationship. Kind of interesting to look at that. And last things last, Saturn and Uranus are pretty much dead stopped. And this weekend, especially at the end of the weekend on Monday, we're gonna see them switch. So there is an eerie kind of stillness around as we're, we're moving and doing everything, we're waiting for this big universal kind of kaboom, which we'll definitely see next week. And I'll keep ramping you guys up on this. The card of Thursday is the death card reversed. So it definitely feels like there's change, but not yet. It's almost like the universe is waiting to push the button, but we're all sitting around going, okay, God, push it. But it's not being pushed yet. I definitely think that this will be an intense day, but I really feel that you're gonna stay, see that there's something in the background waiting to just uh, slug forward, and it just hasn't hit yet. That the sun square Mars, we still got the portal still going, and this portal is starting to close. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you have any questions, or if you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one reading. Thank you so much for all your support, and I will see you tomorrow.